Carbon versus nitrogen. Browns versus greens. What sounds like an epic battle in the making is actually the two most important parts of your compost working in perfect unison. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we're always on the same team. And today's episode is all about the carbon to nitrogen ratio of your compost and why it's so important. Hey, time short as always, so let's get into it. The carbon to nitrogen, or CN ratio for short, is a relative ratio of the two most important categories of ingredients that are in your compost. Carbon, which includes all your brown inputs, and nitrogen, which includes all your green ones. Now, carbon is the energy source, but it's also the base building block of all life and organic matter that's in your compost. It'll be made up of things such as dry leaves, twigs, wood chips, paper, cardboard, hay, and of course straw. Nitrogen, on the other hand, forms the basis of proteins and growth enzymes. Without adequate nitrogen sources in your compost piles, well, microbial activity essentially stops functioning. And these sources are going to be things such as raw kitchen scraps, green grass clippings, spent plants, pulled weeds, manure, and even coffee grounds. And it's the ratio of these two ingredients that's going to have the most effect on how efficient and successful your compost is going to be. As diligent composters, we aim for a ratio of 30 to 1 carbon to nitrogen by weight. It should be noted though, nitrogen sources are usually more dense and thus heavier than the carbon ones. And if you're just eyeballing it, this skews the volume ratio quite a bit. It's going to appear that your compost is much higher in carbon sources than it actually is. Really though, we have to try not to stray far from this ratio. Too heavy on the green side, and your compost is going to turn anaerobic, and the nitrogen's going to be released as ammonia gas. Yuck, you don't want that. But, too high on the carbon side, and the compost is going to slow right down. And the breaking down of those raw materials, well, that's going to take forever and a day. You know what doesn't take forever and a day though? Watching the next episode of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if garden quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.